Hello, everybody. Today's episode is brought to you by the letter D. D is for Dotson and Dodge and DeLorean, but mainly for Dotson in our world. I've gotten to the letter D. I've got a whole lot of things to get all situated and organized. I doubt there's going to be a lot of purging of the Dotsons, any purging at all. There might be some of the other brands, but we are going to get right to it. I got some empty cases. Let's work through the letter D. All right, first Dotson up is the 240Z. This is the faster than ever first edition. Pretty rare car, actually quite rare. I have the three colors of the main line first edition. This was a Kmart. There's other wheel variations. I decided only to keep one wheel variation of each. Keep working through the main line, now to modern classics two colors in the modern classics. I have every release. I don't have every variation of the 240Z. Holidays. We'll do a full showcase. This is a model definitely worth showcasing. I know I've shown a lot of them before. Super treasure hunt. Regular treasure hunt. But right now it's just a matter of getting through them, right? First RLC based on the Z Wiz. Back to the main line with the Tom Bork. Zamac Transitional with the red Toyo tire. This one was not easy to find. There's a couple, there's another variation on this one with no Toyo tire, but and having to do with the uh, blue spoiler, but there's the regular Toyo tire version. More main line. Recolor. And back. To the RLC. That one's a bit recognizable, right? Cool Classics. Heritage with the moon rims. Convention RLC Party in pink. And last but not least, my favorite by a mile, the dinner convention model. That rear is Alton designer who did the um, this is his, based on his actual car there is another one for the RLC model that will come out pretty soon in Spectre Flame Red and then who knows if there's other 240Z's moving on alright we did the 240 now we do the custom known as, otherwise known as the Fugu Z released last year in white orange of course, the car culture. Lighting isn't perfect, but that's not the point of this video, right? Just to show you what's there in this year's version. And then the recolor. I'll leave this cast is bound to show up a lot more, so I'll leave a couple more spaces. The Datsun 620. Oh, the 620. Three colors in the first year, including the rare Kmart in blue. Rare, I wouldn't say rare, but just... Harder to find now than the red. Next main line. We've seen it mostly in main lines, a couple premium releases. There's another Kmart. Walmart trucks. Then three multi pack exclusives blip brown, tan, and black. My favorite remains the Kmart in blue. Car Culture Trucks, Mainline last year, Mainline last year as well, and then Mainline again. We didn't have space for this one and this one, so what I'm going to do is shift everything up for the Super Treasure Hunt. Shift done. Model has a spot. All right, let's go with the Granddaddy Dotson. The 510, there is your first release. Starts up as a peg warmer and then just goes bonkers. Variation, dark, dark blue. You can see how they look different there. All chrome OH5s. Variation, I have, I have a pretty good 510 collection, I'll say that. Here is your, I think your standard black version. And then the super rare five-spoke version. Yeah, and I opened everything. Crazy, right? 
transitional gray stripe. That's the same as the uh, black stripe. You see the gray stripe right there because it was supposed to be white stripe. Moving on, mainline the next year, then the transitional hood. Just look at the blue, red, then Dotson, and then red, blue, then Dotson. So that red, blue, I think is the standard and the, that top one is the transition. All right, what comes next? Oh, I just feel like I have to be very gentle with that. Faster than ever, number 32. Then there was the wheel variation with the OH5s. Then the recolor with the chrome faster than ever's. And then the uh, super rare, well, this, one, this one's not that rare. The J5 variation, here's the rare one that not a lot of people know about. The chrome, faster than ever. That one was near impossible, shown in just, it's just found in a few uh, multi-packs. You recognize that one. Cool classics. For a model that started as a peg warmer, it is just crazy to see. Heritage, all of the releases. Car culture. Kmart mail-in, just keeps going and going. Convention, first one with the open hood. That was last year's convention. Four more, all released in the last few months. There's your RLC. Japan Historics 2. RLC, RLC membership, which a lot of you have now received if you purchased the RLC membership and then shipping very, very soon and sold out the number 35 Brie from the Car Culture Bundle. Those are the 510 sedans. You know what's coming next. Time for the wagon. There's your boulevard. I'm going to leave two spots open for the sedan and extras that are coming. There's your main line. Super treasure hunt. Ah, it's always fun to look at that one. Main line again. Kmart. Really looking good on in black. We had a run of black since in, from the Kmart to the convention. To Japan Historics 1, Advan, Advan, Mexico slash Brazil Convention. A lot of you just are getting those now because it was part of the RLC points. Surf Patrol and then the Zamek. We know that the 50th anniversary edition is coming, so I will leave some space. In fact, I'll go ahead and add the Roadster right here, the recolor right here, and this year's edition. DeLorean. This is the first release of the DeLorean. Actually, we'll put that right there. Second color in black. Actually, that might have been the third color. This might have been the second color in gold. All of those legitimate colors then this is the best DeLorean. In fact, this may be the only one I should keep. I think I'm going to keep the main lines. Then I'm going to take the Boulevard. I'm going to add that one because it's the one that looks most stainless steel. So that one definitely remains. Purge. Stays. Super treasure hunt. All right, going to Dodge. And considering I don't think I'm going to be adding too many more DeLoreans, I'm not going to leave any space. There's Landy's Dodge Coronet. There are four from the Drag Strip Demons. I think I just featured these not too long ago. Hoping to see more of this casting. So I'm going to optimistically leave a space right there. All right. Do the Dodge Challenger. I have the first edition right here. And for one of the Dodge Challengers. I like this recolor in pink, so it stays. This one from whatever series goes. See you later. 
And then another Dick Landy. This is from Vintage Racing Challenger right there. I had this Drift Challenger. I think it's a treasure hunt. Yep. Gone. See you later. And then I'm going to keep the Hellcat for now. Still don't like the big tires in the back, but it gets to stay. Okay, let's keep the Mopar muscle going. Let's go with the uh, Dodge Charger. I have one of this casting. This is the faster than ever. I really like that one. Actually, had an opening hood, but I'm not gonna not gonna open it. Then it gets a little complicated. Here's the faster than ever. This is the 70 fast or not faster than ever. Fast and Furious. Done. I don't need it. Not a big fan. This one is part of Moon Eyes, but I have it in the Moon Eyes collection, so it's out. Um, this one definitely stays because it's part of car culture. So we'll put that 70 right there. Um, Dodge, and then I have a couple of funny cars. Here is the one of the RLC party models. And then I think it was a Kmart mail in, right? I do like those. Okay. These Hellcats, they're out. I just don't like, I wish they didn't have the side deco. I wish they just were plain on the side. Hood thing's fine, but just not really into it. Dodge Charger Daytona from the Target series. I think that was cool, but done. Don't need it. Purging a few Dodges. You more probably, Mopar fans are probably going to be mad at me. Ah, I've got to, before I get to those, I have these. This is the first edition 71 Dodge Charger, and I dig this one. So three colors of that one. I don't know if this is in order. Green, yellow, orange. Really, really dig that one. That's probably a good time to add the Demon. Three colors of that. This is about 2008, 2009. They did just some really cool muscle cars. And they would do like two or three colors of each. All stock looking. And I really, really dig these. So I want to add those. And then I have one Super Treasure Hunt. I'll add that too. Let's get on to the Viper. I don't care. I don't care like most Viper castings. I do like this ACR. So let's leave one space for that, for the Demon. Another ACR. The rare Easter. No, this is Decades. How pretty that is. I'm going to keep that one. This holiday one. It's cool, but I don't need it. It's always important to purge. All right, this is the newest Viper. This actually, this is the first edition right here. And I'm going to keep it only because I like to compare them. Because the first edition, notice, no taillights. Stripes on the top. We'll add that. But look at this one. Did you even know this one existed? Taillights, same color, same wheels, no stripes. This is the New York Toy Fair version. No, not Toy Fair. New York Auto Show version, when they debuted the Viper, Hot Wheels did this for them. It's beautiful. I'll add the Super Treasure Hunt to this one, too. Super Treasure Hunt's pretty ugly, but this is... I love that car. should look it up, see if there's one available. New York Viper. Oh, I didn't even show you. There you go. On to the trucks and vans. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add the A100. I don't have very many of these, because it's just been lost in car culture. Pop culture, I'm sorry. So I don't have, um, I just have collected the ones I want, and it's not very many. I love these 76 ones. And then here's the best one, the double bubble. I know that looks a little like pop culture, but it actually was part of the Slick Rides, I think is what it was called. And I just kind of like that one. Here's a mail-in. Those are all I have for that. Okay, one more van. I have two of these Super Treasure Hunts. So one's in the Moon Eyes collection. One goes into the Dodge collection. Then we move to the Little Red Express. This is the mainline release. I haven't collected any since just because this is what the Little Red Express was. It was this truck, Little Red Express. And we're going to see it in that new 50th set in a premium version. I'm so excited. So there's a spot for that. I don't need any other of that uh, of that truck now that they're doing the premium. Super excited. And then the power, power wagon. I have to kind of push this one in a little bit. These were from the um, Garage Series. 
right? There's still one more that I have carded that I'll probably open in a feature one of these days. Convention, actually, this one's first. Convention in pink. And then convention from a couple years ago. What will not fit in here, I will maybe I'll even make some space for it, is the Macho Power Wagon from Entertainment. Guys, that is D. I uh, showed you what I purged. I'm not going to put them through the uh, little display box. I just put them off to the side right there. But there's my dog kind of angry. So there you go. That is the... Uh, those are all the Ds. We're going to be moving on to the Fs very soon. That's going to be fun. Stay tuned for that. Bye.